Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we're taking a look around at 2006 Finmaster 7050 Sports Family. This boat's fitted with a Volvo Penta D3 190 uh, diesel engine. It's in beautiful condition throughout. It's got a great spec level. It's got a cabin heater demister, gas hob, shore power. It's even got a bow thruster, which is very unusual in a boat of this size. We're now going to take a detailed look at the boat. We're going to have a walk through it, go through all the features. We're going to let you hear the engine start and run it, and we're also going to put through its pieces in the water. So this boat was built in 2006. It's had only two owners from you, and the most recent owner has owned it since 2007. He kept it in fresh water, so the boat's been in fresh water virtually its entire life, and it's only got 225 hours on the clock, so very lightly used, and it's been very well looked after as well. So taking a look at the, uh, the port side of the boat, you can tell the gel coat looks fabulous. With a beautiful navy, wide colour band on the hull. We've got red pinstripe in here. There's a blue coat of antifoil and paint underneath. Um, and that gel, both above and below the rail, looks really good. There's a few minor scuffs and scrapes. Whenever you start looking up really close, just obviously a wee bit of sort of earthen and rubs, but not even through the gel coat. Most of them would probably polish out. Um, and apart from that, it's in in beautiful condition. The rub rails are unmarked, no big chunks or anything out of that. All the stainless steel bow rails, all the cleats and everything are in perfect condition. The handrail up along the, uh, the hard top roof, it's great. The window surrounds are totally corrosion free. Again, one of the benefits of being in fresh water. Little chrome skin fittings all look perfect. And the graphics, apart from one little mark here, where again, obviously it's just rubbed along a fender or something. Um, apart from that, all the graphics in the rest of the boat are in excellent condition. Coming right back then to the stern corner, because this boat has a bow thruster, there's really no excuses for hitting it whenever you're parking it, so um, the corners are perfect. They've never, there's no impact damage here, no stress cracking on the gel, everything looks in great shape. The owner of the boat obviously tied it up on the port side because the starboard side is perfect. There's nothing, no marks on it at all. There's not even any fender rub marks worth talking about. Um, no chips or cracks, the gel is immaculate, the stickers are perfect, all the fittings are, are excellent as well. Um, take the opportunity while we're here, just to have a quick look below the waterline. So you can see the boat has been previously anti-foiled. The underlying condition of that paint's pretty good, it's not flaking off really in any, in any dramatic fashion. Um, and the whole bottom looks good. Now it will need a fresh coat of paint before it goes in the water for this 2016 season. And you'll see here we've got the, uh, the tunnel for the bow thruster. So that tunnel was actually installed as standard in the factory and then the bow thruster itself, the motor, was an optional extra. So this boat has it fitted. It's very, very unusual to find a bow thruster in a 23 foot boat. Um, but if you're a novice or you're moving up from a much smaller boat and you want something that's not going to be too intimidating to handle and berth around the marina, this is going to be an absolute breeze to, to maneuver and, and park on the, on the pontoon with the bow thruster. I mean, it it's, uh, really does can enhance your whole enjoyment, saves marital relationships. Um, coming on back then, everything's perfect. Bow rails are good, cleats are good, window surrounds really good, no corrosion or anything. Um, got this nice little engine room vent back here as well. This, these chrome or stainless steel uh, uh, grid over the top of it, it's all in perfect condition as well. Again, all the cleats are really nice and chunky. It's really sort of practical boat. And then the corner on this starboard side is perfect as well. No impact damage on the rail, no stress cracks, no stress cracks on the gel, it's perfect. Although this boat is uh, 23 feet long, it's actually just under nine feet wide. It's, I think it's eight foot, 10 inches wide. And the width, you, the, the width of the boat really strikes you whenever you're standing looking at the, the stern. And it contributes greatly to the accommodation that you have inside the boat. But across the transom, we've got this large integrated swim platform. It's all laid in real teak, as is the rest of the aft cockpit area. And um, we've got a folding three-step stainless steel uh, boarding ladder here. Lots of chunky handrails all the way across the top of the, the transom. So if you're climbing in and out of the water, you can do that easily. Or if you're boarding the boat from either side, you can safely make your way across the back of the transom and then through the, the cockpit gate. Um, again, condition-wise, everything here is pretty much perfect. Taking a look then at the stern drive. 
This boat's fitted with the Volvo Penta D3 190 horsepower diesel engine and it's matched up to this dual prop drive. Um, there's only 220 hours on the clock. The engine bay is pristine, super clean. Um, the drive, it's showing a wee bit of signs of some surface um, corrosion. It probably just needs rubbed down and, uh, and cleaned up just to bring it back to, to pristine. But it's, um, this is exactly the way it came on this. In terms of the, the important mechanical bits, this is purely cosmetic, it's nothing to worry about at all. All the sealing surfaces are perfect and the, the things that you need to worry about on these Volvo drives are the, the trim ramps. They have a habit of starting to leak and they're quite expensive to repair, but this, this one's completely dry um, on both, both sides, both of those rams. There's no oil weeping out of them or anything. Like they, they start to weep initially and then once they go you have to, you're in the several hundred pounds to get those repaired. So they're perfect. Um, the bellows in here as well, the rubber bellows, nice and soft and pliable, they're in very good condition, they must have been replaced fairly recently. And the trim hoses, which are another problem area on Volvo drives, these all look good too, there's no corrosion, the, the rubber shield isn't breaking down or anything, so mechanically the drive's perfect, it's shifting out of, in and out of gear lovely, and the boat performs excellent as well. You check out the water test footage shortly to see just how well it is going in the water. Props are pretty good. This back one has had a little notch taken out of it. Um, again, no big deal to get that repaired. You're talking sort of 40 or 50 quid to just clean that up. Um, it's not making the boat vibrate or anything underway. It's probably not even really affecting performance in any way at all, but um, again, just if you want to have the thing pristine, it's easy to do that. The skeg is perfect, no chunks out of it, no scrape, scratches or anything, so um, the boat's never been run aground. Um, so it's, uh, it's in really good condition. We've got pretty substantial trim tabs here on either side of the boat as well. So they can help you get on the plane at slower speeds, you can drop both of those down. They can also help you to correct the running attitude whenever you're underway. So if you're running the crosswind, you can drop a tab and just level the boat out. Makes it much easier to handle, even um, in coastal waters and things. The boat comes with a full set of uh, original factory Finmaster master covers to fully enclose the, the back, the aft cockpit here. So this is a great set of covers. They're in perfect condition. The acrylic's still nice and clear. All the stitching, the zips, um, everything's in, in perfect shape. Um, I think the bar might need adjusted slightly because it looks like it's sitting a wee bit high on the left hand side there. But that's just a, an adjustment I think of the bar. The actual covers themselves are in perfect condition. And um, it means that if you're staying on the boat for a weekend or something, the weather's not great, you can close the, you can close the back cockpit in. It gives you a ton of extra living space out in the back end of the boat. Um, you can take off this, this top section of the, the aft cover. And with this zip back. sort of have it open open to the elements here even if you're sitting of an evening having a glass of wine or whatever on the boat. Um, I just want to show as well that you do have proper standing headroom here so sort of five foot ten or something. Um, I've got standing headroom there and because this rear curtain is more or less vertical you don't lose any sitting headroom whenever you've got all the covers up. So we're going to take these off. I just wanted to show you them show you how good they are. We're going to take them off now so we can get a better look uh, around the rest of the boat. Being a Scandinavian boat that's built in Finland, this Finmaster 7050 is obviously geared towards sort of the northern European climate, which is perfect for around the UK and Ireland. And one of the big benefits of that is that you've got a fully enclosed cabin. The entire the, the, the steering position, all the accommodation, in terms of sleeping accommodation, cooking, toilet, and everything's fully enclosed. You close the door behind you. Uh, there's a little heater in there so you can heat the cabin. Um, so it's perfect for sort of use nearly all year round here in the, in the British Isles. But at the same time, we've still got a decent bit of outdoor space in this aft cockpit. There's plenty of room to seat four adults around this sort of oversized cockpit table. We've got these nice little integrated cup holders here. Um, you can also pull that table out of the way and then if you want to use the boat for fishing or if you're swimming off the back of it, you can just clear the table and just opens up this, uh, this deck space at the back end of the boat. Um, it really is. For a 23 foot boat, they cram an amazing amount of practical, usable space into the boat. There's even enough room to sleep five people in there at a push, uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so in terms of the aft cockpit, condition's lovely. We've got this real teak flooring throughout again. Integrated step here, which gives you access up onto the side deck. 
We've got wide side deck access down both the port and starboard side of the, uh, the cabin, the wheelhouse. You see we've got plenty of stainless steel handrails, nice big handrail here along the roof, and then there's um, high bow rails up the front. Um, these are all the factory cushions for this seat. Now at the back here, you can pop these out, and you've just got fiberglass decking underneath, all molded, non-skid. So if you are using the boat for fishing, say you want to use it around the coast, you can remove all the, uh, the upholstery and keep it inside so it stays uh, nice and clean. We've got this lockable function gate as well, so if you're traveling with kids or pets, you can keep them in, inside the cockpit. Um, and we've got this little um, light here um, for illuminating this area after dark. You'll also notice up, up above here we've got a GPS antenna, we've got this nice little chrome uh, nav light mounting arrangement, horn that's up here, we've also got uh, VHF aerial as well, so you'll see the boat's well kitted out in terms of electronics and stuff. And then the entry into the cabin is through this sliding uh, door, which is all running smoothly on the runners. A couple of extra features I want to quickly point out here in the cockpit are this uh, transom shower, so it's pull out whale shower, pressurized hot and cold water, so you can either use that for washing down the cockpit or showering after spin. This is our manual bilge pump um, point. So you can operate, uh, there's obviously electric bilge pumps in the boat, but that's the manual backup one. And this boat's also fitted with the optional shore power system. So you can plug in the shore power, it gives you 240 volt power throughout the boat. There's a bunch of sockets in there, you can run a water heater and stuff like that. So coming into the cabin, stroke wheelhouse of this boat, um, the first thing that strikes you is how much room this is. It really is hard to believe this is only a 23 foot boat. There's stacks of space in here. Really well done. They've got enough room for a fully enclosed uh, toilet and shower compartment there on the starboard side, so you have full privacy there, day or night. Um, we've got this excellent little uh, dinette table arrangement, so we've got twin wide benches facing each other around this solid wood table. Great helm position which we'll take a closer look at in a minute. Um, we've got a little occasional seat here in front of the helm and then we've got a big double bed area up at the, um, up at the forepeak of the bow. And in behind the steps, we've got a third, there's a galley area there, plus a third berth that we'll take a closer look at now as well. So, so with the double bed here, the single running back underneath the, uh, the cockpit there, or the, the aft cockpit, that's three sort of proper berths. And then you can drop this table down and put a filler cushion in here, and you can make this up into, they're calling it a double, but it's really, it's baby for two small kids, or, or you know, it's pretty small, it's not that long, but, you can, if you've got two small kids, plus slightly bigger kid, plus two adults, you can fit a total of five people in here for a, for a night's sleep. Um, the fit and finish is top notch, really high quality, beautiful joinery throughout, solid wood, solid wood floors, solid wood table here. The upholstery's in lovely condition, navy with this little uh, beige pinstripe and detail. The condition of everything is perfect as well. Um, we've got lots of little overhead reading lights here, opening uh, windows on the port and starboard side so you can, the driver can communicate with the crew. We've also got this huge big sliding roof section as well so whenever you're out on a better day you can slide that back and opens up a huge big sunroof to get let lots of natural light and ventilation through the boat. Um, so yeah it's a bright airy cabin and very comfortable place to spend time. In typical Scandinavian fashion, they figured out lots of inventive ways to maximize the, the use of the space here. So whenever you want to prepare food on board, you can flip this seat forward. If you remove the table, it'll go completely flat and open up a big wide uh, countertop area. Uh, we've got a nice deep stainless steel sink. We've got pressurized hot and cold water here from this tap. Um, and we've got a Wallace diesel electric uh, hob. So this is, runs off a little diesel tank which lives down and below it. Twin burner hob, it's perfect for you know, heating the kettle or frying a breakfast or something in the mornings. Um, and being Wallace, top quality design like, and everything's working perfectly. We've got storage then in behind here, these cherry wood cabinets. Two of those. You have to, it's a bit like the Krypton factor making sure, sure you get into all these things, but decent big locker for storing um, supplies and provisions and things. Then we've got 
uh, another bit of storage down underneath here and we've got the little diesel tank for the cooker and we've also got our um, shore power distribution block, your main breaker switch there for the shore power. Just behind the galley then you'll see the, uh, the, the aft berth so it's a decent sized single berth runs right to the transom of the boat so there is good uh, good length in the bed you see there's stories down there for the filler cushions and shore power leads and stuff like that we've got an overhead reading light here up at the head of the bed um, I, condition wise everything's perfect and there's bone dry the, the covers all the cushions and upholstery in this boat are completely dry no damp or mildew or anything and you get a good bit of storage in underneath that berth as well we've got a 12 volt refrigerator underneath the helm seat a little isotherm unit it's good again it's good size nice and deep um, easily big enough to swallow up and supplies for a weekend away we've got a, a series of little drawers in uh, underneath this uh, dinette seat so they're all working perfectly the runners are good and loads of storage for all your knickknacks we've got more storage then underneath this seat here shelved uh, locker good size bit more storage underneath the table big drawer pulls out here cutlery and cups and things um, there are cup holders in behind the uh, the table there along the side of the dinette you'll notice as well there's sockets everywhere in this boat there's loads of 240 volts whenever you're plugged in the short part you've got all enough sockets for charging phones and powering laptops and DVD players and things like that this seat here is um, a good size and fit an adult in here nice little reading light just above it as well and then whenever you're using this um, as a berth at night time there's a filler cushion that sits in here to fill this section in and then you've got a big size double berth two overhead reading lights we've got this escape hatch here I think this was an optional extra as well which is fitted to this boat just an added safety feature um, and then you've got storage around behind this little shelf as well so again everything's perfect there's no there's no evidence of any leaks or damp or anything in this boat like there's no drips from the roof the ceiling um, there's no drips from the sunroof there's no drips from the the deck hatch all the windows look perfect um, it really is in top-notch order if you're looking at this boat wondering where you're going to store everything you really shouldn't be too <laughs> worried there's another ton of storage up underneath this forward berth you can see in here and all the storage compartments are all properly lined fiber fully fiberglass lined they all drain into the bilge this one has the water pump lives down in there as well um, and there's more storage up in the front part of that so there are literally tons of cubby holes all the way throughout the boat for hiding all your gear away so taking a close look now at the helm position it really is it's a great little helm position the seat the helm seat is elevated above all the other seats so you've got clear visibility out through the screen over the heads of your passengers and things um, big side window this opens as well so you can communicate with your your crew on the jetty and um, with this huge opening sunroof you can get the wind in your hair you can stand up here that the, the footrest is, is nicely elevated so if you stand up you got clear visibility out oh, out through the roof um, in terms of the fit and finish it's, it's beautiful with a solid wood steering wheel um, all the switch gears nice nice carbon effect dash and stuff big chart table area here so you can put your paper charts underneath here and then the dash is as everything you'd need on a boat of this size um, so we've got a Raymarine by data readout gives us the depth of water under the keel plus the speed of the boat through the water just power up the, uh, the ignition here as well so you can see these Volvo gauges so you see this warning gauge does this little um, rotation through the lights to make sure everything's working all the instruments are in perfect condition there's a full suite of Volvo instruments so we've got the trim gauge shows us where the stern drive leg is at uh, engine temperature the warning gauge the voltmeter fuel gauge showing the boat's virtually full of fuel as well it's take us 200 odd 220 litre tank in this boat and then we've got this EVC TACO so it's a TACO with a digital readout it cycles through all your critical engine information so you can see here it's showing 225.4 hours on the fire meter which is very very little um, for a boat of this type you can, and then you can cycle through things like fuel flow rate uh, trip data gauges engine RPM fuel level, uh, trim position, battery volts again, turbo boost pressure, engine coolant temperature uh, and all that type of stuff. So it's a very sophisticated system, it's bang up to date. Whenever this came out in 2006, I think it was the first year of the Volvo D3 and um, this EVC system. 
So it's a, an excellent uh, working order and a you know very refined engine. It starts first turn of the key. Um, the 190 horsepower is plenty to get the boat up on the plane quickly, even with a full complement of uh, your six passengers on board. Boat planes easily. It'll run right up to 30 knots there thereabouts, um, and it, it handles really well. This one has, as I said, it spent most of its life in fresh water, but it's really well suited to use in the sea. I mean, being a fin a boat from Finland, it's obviously designed for use in around the fjords and, and around the coast there. So it's a great little um, coastal day boat as well. What we're going to do is we're going to fire the engine up so you can hear it start to run and we're going to put the boat through its paces in the water so you can see for yourself just how well it, it is running. Um, in terms of the other bits and pieces of equipment we've got a nav band tracker 5500 5 inch uh, GPS chart plotter, colour chart plotter. We've also got a nav band VHF radio which lives down here. All of this stuff's in, in perfect working order. We've got the controls up here for our bow thruster. We've got the trim tab controls here as well. We've got a 12 volt power outlet, we've got switches, independent switches for the and starboard windscreen wipers, fresh water pump, navigation lights, bills blower, horn, all that sort of stuff and everything's in, in nice working order. Um, so yeah, great great helm position, throttle and shift, lever is conveniently located here, all the controls, goes without saying, all the controls are perfect, steering's nice and light, the, uh, the engine controls are nice and smooth. Um, the boat's just been lightly used, well looked after, and there's bags of life left in it.
One other thing I want to point out is the uh, the cabin demister stroke heater. So it's controlled down here. We've got a low, medium, and high setting. How that works is whenever the engine's running and it's pumping hot water, coolant, you know, warms up. The coolant circulates through the heater unit, which lives underneath the uh, helm position here, and then it blows hot hot air out of this vent here. Um, there may well be another one. I just have a kind of have a proper look there, but. So it blows out this vent, keeps the, the screens clear, and if you've got the roof closed and the door closed at the back, you'd be amazed how quickly that warms up the cabin as well. So even if you're using the boat at this time of year or late in the autumn, um, it's a great thing to have. A proper enclosed head compartment is really unusual on a 23 foot boat, 23 foot sports boat. Um, and it's a great thing to have if you've got small kids or I know um, a lot of people just like the convenience of having, a, having their own sea toilet on board. So it's a proper pump out sea toilet, pump the contents overboard, um, very nicely finished, um, decent size in there, decent space, little open and porthole. We've got curtains so you can close it off for privacy. These curtains are throughout the boat actually so whenever you can, at night time you can completely enclose the boat. Storage for a boat hook in here, um, we've got a nice little sink unit there as well. Again, running hot and cold water. You can, if you really want to, you could convert that to a pull-out uh, sink, pull-out shower head, so you can use that compartment for showering in it also. Um, but at the moment, it's just a heads compartment with a, a hand basin. Bit of storage there as well, um, for all your odds and ends, and it's in lovely condition. Engine access on the boat is really straightforward. All you have to do is make sure you don't have the bolt across on the little cockpit entry door. And then this whole hatch lifts up, you don't have to move seats or cushions or anything, lifts up on a couple of gas assist struts. So we've got really good service access around this uh, Volvo D3 190 horsepower motor. Um, as you can tell, it's in beautiful condition. Bears all the hallmarks of a fresh water one, no corrosion, the pulleys look really good, no oil or anything in the bilge, um, the engine mounts look good, all the hardware at the back end, the steering ram and everything, all looks really good and around the stern of the engine as well. You can see we've got a big um, heavy duty water separating fuel filter, pre-filter in combination with the engine fuel filter as well. Automatic fire extinguishing system here, which uh, the status indicator light in the cabin shows it's uh, in perfect working order. We've got another uh, 12, 240 socket in here, so if you're working in here, you can use that socket. We've got a battery charger, so whenever you are plugged in the shore power, it'll charge your batteries as well. Um, and just mechanically this boat is perfect. I mean, it's only it's only run 225 hours, which is nothing, and um, it looks really good. I just also will show you over here, we've got another um, <coughs> locker which houses the, the chlorifier, the hot water unit, and the trim tab uh, motor and stuff like that. So again, everything in here, pristine, super clean and tidy, as are all the, uh, the other bilge areas in this boat. Um, lots of soundproof material. Uh, around this as well, so it's nice and quiet whenever you're just tootling down a uh, river, you, you don't get any engine noise intruding into the cabin. So, the quality of the en engineering installation on the boat is top notch, as you would sort of expect with a Finn Master, um, and this one's in lovely condition. So, there you have it, that's our 2006 Finn Master 7050 Sports Family. I think it makes an excellent a weekender, brilliant day boat, very well suited to our climate here with a fully enclosed cabin with the, the heater in there, the bow thruster, the diesel engine, the shore power system, the battery charger, the hot and cold water, the electronics. It's got a fabulous spec, really well suited to year round use, um, whether you're looking to use it on the lakes or around the coast. Um, and this one's in, in beautiful condition. It's only got 225 hours on the clock, two hours from you. We have all the paperwork, the original VAT invoices there, all the CE paperwork, the, even the, down to the original brochures that the, uh, the first owner got when he, when he bought the boat. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's going to hang around too long. I should point out that the trailer you see it sitting on here is one of our yard trailers. It's not for sale with the boat. It's not included in, in the deal. Um, but the boat is of a trailerable size and it means that delivery to you, whether you're in the UK, Scotland, Wales, throughout Europe, it should be really straightforward and cost effective to get it transported to you. Um, so if you like the boat and you want to come and have a look at it or ask me any questions about it, please don't hesitate to get in touch. You can drop me an email or give, a, give me a call or fill out the callback request form on this page of our website and I'll contact you at a time that's convenient. Thank you very much for watching.